In this summer of extreme weather, the amount of lightning firing down on all of us across the country is making everyone wonder exactly how do you survive a hit. So here are some myths and the facts. Here's ABC's meteorologist Ginger Z. It's one of the most dramatic and dangerous spectacles in the world of weather. But get this, 90% of people struck by lightning do survive. And in your lifetime, you have a 1 in 3,000 chance of getting hit. Three strikes out and I don't got any lives to spare anymore. I've used all nine of them, I think. Unless you're Bob Edwards of Charlotte, North Carolina. It felt like somebody hit me in the chest with a sledgehammer. He was struck by lightning this week for the third time in 15 years. That's right, three times, and he's still alive. I tell you what, the folks in Las Vegas will make a whole bunch of money off of me. Bob is an extreme case, but it's been a busy week for lightning strikes. Eldemiro Barrera was burnt by lightning. The intense heat of lightning can turn sweat instantly to steam. Among the many flashy stats, there are some stubborn myths, too. Myth one, lightning never strikes the same place twice. Tell that to King Kong's old playground. The Empire State Building gets struck around 25 times each year. Myth two, if it isn't raining, you don't have to worry about lightning. That one's about as far from the truth as you can get. Even when it is not raining, you're far from safe. Thunderstorms can produce lightning that can strike you up to 25 miles away. Myth three, if you lay flat or get close to the ground, you're safer. Not true. People used to think that getting low would save you, but bottom line, if you're outside, it doesn't matter how tall you are, you have to get inside. So the final lesson, when thunder roars, go indoors. Ginger Z, ABC News, New York.